Let's talk about SSD endurance. So why do some drives cost way more than others, and what drives are good for NASes or servers? Let's talk about it. All right, welcome back to the video. So I've actually done this video before, a couple, maybe about a year ago or so, but I have a lot of new viewers and it's an interesting topic to me. So what I wanna talk about is high endurance SSDs. What's the endurance of your SSD? And what are the best SSDs for really high endurance tasks like NAS drives or servers? And I'm gonna show you the difference in a lot of different things here. So working at a data center for 25 years, I have experience of knowing exactly what are the consumer level drives versus the more professional drives. And I'm not even gonna show you all the professional drives. I'm gonna show you kind of the lower end professional drives that are gonna basically mean you can pick these up for not that much more money, but it's gonna give you a lot more read and writes you know, capability in that drive before it fails versus the consumer drives. So without further ado, what we're gonna do in the video is I'm just gonna kind of go through right off the bat um, a couple different things. I'm gonna show you guys how they measure or how you can kind of find out what, what the endurance of each drive is if you're gonna buy one. And then you can compare them between the two. You know, if there's two consumer drives, you can see which one has better endurance. And then I'm gonna show you all of the kind of professional drives or the ones that are made for NASAs and also data centers. And I'm gonna show you those drives. And these are gonna be kind of, like I said, the lower end of those drives, they're not gonna be that much more money, but the endurance on them is gonna maybe be five or 10 times as much. So it's gonna open your eyes, I think. So let me share my screen here and we'll go through this quickly just so I can kind of explain to you guys exactly what I found. And uh, there'll be links to all this in the description. I'm not telling you to go out and buy any of this stuff, but if you, if you want to, the links will be there. At the end of the day though, I'm just kind of showing you you know, kind of this is the process that you should take when you're looking at these drives, especially if you're building a NAS or a server, definitely keep this in mind. All right, this is kind of the boring part, but stay with me, then we'll get into the drives. The way that they actually measure stuff is, one, one way to do it is look up here, it's terabytes written, see it right here, TBW, look for that value. That is the total amount of terabytes data that an SSD can write in its lifetime, very simple. So you might see an SSD with 100 TBW, and it's gonna be listed in the, in the specifications. That means it can write about 100 terabytes of data before the manufacturer thinks it's gonna fail. So pretty easy there, and there's gonna be all different values. And a lot of times larger drives, like one terabyte drives, have larger ones than the small drives. If you think about it, it makes sense because it takes more to fill up that drive, right? But that's not always the case, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. The other way that they actually measure, and then we'll get into the, the meat of the video, is DWPD, and that's gonna be for like more capacity drives or more endurance drives. That's drive writes per day. What that basically means is if you have a terabyte drive, how many times can you write the entire contents, a full terabyte on that drive, how many times a day for the life of the actual warranty period? So, or it'll give you a year amount. So let me just explain that. So if you have a one terabyte drive, let's say like this, what you can do is you can say it's got one, basically they call it one DWPD. That basically means that you can write one terabyte on that drive every single day for up to like three years or five years. If it's two, that means you can write two terabytes on that drive, you know, write it full, erase it, write it full for three or five years. So it's obviously those are the two differences here and I'll have links to these things so you guys can take a look at them. But let's get into the actual drives now. This is the kind of the interesting part. So here I am at Micro Center. Look at my screen over here. Here's a drive, 6499, we've all heard of this, is the 870 Evo, a great Samsung drive. Um, if we scroll down though down here, you know, always look, they do a really good job on Micro Center. So let me go down here. But you're gonna find some information down in the specs. If you look down here, here it is right here, Endurance, see it right here? 600 terabytes written. That means that that drive can write 600 terabytes basically of data on there, you erase it, write it back before they think it's gonna have a failure. So that's actually really high, and that's a great drive, right? That's, that's the, you know, the Samsung drive right here. This is a consumer drive, though. So as we go down the list here, here's a Western and Digital Blue, right? One terabyte also, so it's kind of competing. But if we go down to the same kind of stuff down here, let's take a look. This one's only 400, see Endurance. So right there, you can kind of compare those two, 400 versus 600, what would you pick? Obviously, you guys can make the choice. Obviously, both of those are just crazy amounts of data for the average person, so don't take too much stock in that yet. All right, as we go down the list though, here's a cheaper drive, 56.99, it's by Crucial MX500. You might ask yourself, well, maybe this is a good deal, right? Well, let's go down, so let's look at this one here, and we look at this, it's basically only 360, right? So it's almost half of what the Samsung drive is. But even, who's gonna write 360 terabytes? You might ask yourself that. You might not be that person that has a NAS or a server that would do that. So this drive might be fine, but it's got half the capacity. Now if we keep going down, the, these are all consumer drives. Here's another terabyte drive, 55.99 by Crucial. 
You can see how bad some drives can get. Endurance, 120 terabytes only. Samsung one was 600. This is only 120. You can see it right here. That's crazy, right? So, and the cost isn't that much of a difference. And then obviously, here's a 500 gigabyte Evo drive. Again, a good Samsung drive, 39 bucks. A lower capacity, remember I said it usually has less, you know, less reads and writes capability, but this one still has 300. So even that 500 gig drive here beats the one terabyte crucial by double, or at least almost triple. So you can see that that Samsung drive is gonna last longer. And then finally to wrap up the consumer drives, here's a really cheap one, 24.99. You might think you're getting a deal. Again, it's only 240 gigabytes, right? And this can only do 80 terabytes written. So, but you might say, well, 80 terabytes written, the drive's only 240, so let's do the math on that. That means you'd have to write that drive four times to get to a you know, terabyte, so four times the 240 roughly, you get to a terabyte times 80. So about, what is that, 320 times you'd have to write that disk full before it would fail. So even this small one, 320 times you have to write that disk you know, fully, you know, to full capacity before it would fail, all right? Now let's get into the high capacity drives and why they're probably better for NAS and servers. All right, the first one I wanna show you here is look at my screen. This is called the Samsung PM893. Now this is a, this is a drive that we can, we can use in Dell servers at a data center. It's basically really good for read and writes. It's also just got, it just lasts a long time. It's better than that Evo drive. It looks very similar, obviously, right? It's a two and a half inch SSD drive just like this. So, but look at it, it's got, it's in a server configuration here. So why is that? Well, let's go down the list here. This is the crazy thing. So here's the data sheet on it. And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit right here. So as we kind of scroll down, we're gonna look down here. That's a one terabyte drive. Well, there's different per versions, it's 960 gigs. But let's scroll down here. We can see if we scroll all the way down, let me see where this is. Here's the 960 right here, I'm gonna scroll down. It can do 1,752 terabytes written, see that? So that's three times basically what that consumer grade Samsung can do. So you're at three times that. And when you get into some bigger drives, you can see some of these bigger drives can do up to 14 terabytes, 14,000 terabytes written, I'm sorry. This is 1,772 terabytes. 1,772 terabytes, think about that. Um, for, a, you know, for that one drive I just showed you. So you might think, well, this is a huge amount of data, three times the other one, these other ones are multiple times that, 30 times more. How much do these things cost? Well, if you wanna pick one up, let's just take a look. Here they are right here. So the one I just showed you was 960 gigabytes. So let's click on that. That's only uh, PM way right here, 893, 2.5 inch SATA. It's only 122 bucks, right? So if we go back to the one we saw before, let me see here, that was basically, it's gonna be double the cost. Double the cost, but you're gonna get so much more with that. If you think about it, you're gonna get at least triple or maybe even quadruple. Plus it comes with other things included. When you get into the data sheets on these, these pro level drives, they're gonna come with more air checking. They're gonna come with power loss protection in case something gets, the power goes out, it's gonna save the data on a battery on the drive. There's a lot of advantages to getting these things and they don't cost that much more. I just wanna show you the example. Obviously there's other ones in here that don't cost that much as well. All right. This is another company. This company up here, I can't pronounce the name of it, but they bought the Intel drive line. Intel used to have great SSDs. They still do. In fact, if I look down here, Intel's name is still right there on the, on the drive. I don't think you can see it. It's too small, but it's there. So these are Intel drives, basically. And we use these in data centers all the time. They work great with Dell servers, the R series servers, you know, 730s and 740s, R730, R740s. These work really great for RAID. They're great with RAID, not having problems with them. You can pull drives during RAID failures. These things work great. Here's a D3S4510. See it right there? Again, these are gonna be what we call uh, pro level, but they're not that more expensive. So if we go to the next screen here, you see it's 138 bucks for 960, right? So slightly more, I think, than that Samsung drive, that, that pro Samsung drive. It's definitely gonna be more money, as you can see. There's no doubt about it. It's gonna be usually about double the cost. But as we keep going down the list, here's the product brief on this. Here, here's the drives in here. Let's go down here for a second. Down here, what this is saying, this is one way to look at it. Remember I said that DWPD? So here's the drive right here, and what it's telling you is it can write up to two basically, basically, let me just go back to that just so it's better, two drive writes per day, right? So what's two drive writes per day mean? That means you can write 960, basically, let me go back down there, I'm sorry. You can write 960 gigabytes two times a day on that drive for five years straight. Now, that's hard to kind of equate. Terabytes written was easier, right? Because this is, you have to do math on this. So you can go out there and you can find screens like this. So take a look at this screen. I just found this out there. Here's the drive. Let me see where it is over here. 960 D3 S4510. Let me make sure that's the right one here. S4510 it is. 
So we'll go back over here. Now, if I look over here down, let me just get back to there. It's right here. This one can do 3,400 terabytes written. 3,400 terabytes written. Remember the Samsung consumer drive can only do 600. The other ones could do way less than that. This can do 3,400 for 130 bucks. And if you get different versions of this, if you look over here, there's a newer version. It's called a D3 S4610 uh, instead of the 4510. This one can do 6,000 terabytes written. 6,000 terabytes versus 3,400. And it's gonna just be slightly more money. And of course, now here we are talking about just, I talked a lot about two and a half drives. Here's a, you know, NVMe drive. Let's just talk about this. So here's an Intel drive. This is a consumer grade one. I, I talked about, this is a great drive. The 670P, awesome drive, 49 bucks, full terabyte. You'll never have a problem with this drive. But take a look at this. So we look in here and I don't know if it's gonna even write what it has in here. I don't think it does. So let's keep moving on here. Here it is here. So let's go down to the list here. This is a consumer grade. So if you look at that, the one terabyte can only do 370 terabytes written. Not a lot, right? But at the end of the day, if you're just using it on your normal computer, you'll never reach that. But if you're doing like NAS work and other stuff, you might. So that's one thing to consider with that drive. So what's the advantage? Well, here's one. This is the DC version or the data center version of the, the NVMe drive by Intel. If you see it here, it's the P4511 um, series. It's 272 bucks versus what, 40 something bucks? Way more, right? I mean, they look the same. It's got, you know, three, you know, basically the flash storage has got everything. It looks very similar, but it's not. So if you look at this drive, it's 272 bucks. And remember, I just showed you the data sheet and the other one was only 300 and something. Look down here, the endurance on this one is up to 1.95 petabytes written basically, so that's, what is that? That's 1,950 um, terabytes written. I'm kind of trying to do the math here, crazy. So they also use less wattage a lot of times. They also have that basically minimized service disruptions by having protections built in for data centers and also for like RAID configurations like your NAS. Um, they see it says right here, it's for a server. So all these things combined are gonna be better than just the consumer grades, but it depends on the cost difference and if it's gonna work for you. At the end of the day, I always tell people, do the research. I'll have all links to this in the description. I'm not trying to make you buy these things, but I'm just trying to open your eyes and say, listen, if you're gonna have an, a, you know, if you're buying an SSD drive, I mean, here's two consumer grade SSD drives. Let's say you're buying one of these or one of these or a two and a half inch drive, but you know you're gonna be writing data constantly for some kind of project or just something that you're gonna be doing for work that you're gonna be writing over and over and over again. Instead of going through the failure of something failing over so much time and having to deal with all that, you've spent a little bit more money on these nuts. These are pro versions, but there's ones that are even way more pro than this. These are kind of the lower kind of consumer pro you pick one of those up and they last a lot longer, right? So let me just kind of wrap up the video by saying this is just a learning experience. I hope you guys like these videos. A lot of people aren't making videos like this out there. I don't think a lot of people even know these things exist and they do and they're not that much more and you should consider them at all times. Uh, you definitely do your research. There's other versions of these professional drives. I just showed you a few of them. They're not the best. Some of them are older models. You know, you guys can do all your own research, but just remember, you know, when you're buying something and you only want to buy it once, they always say buy something good once or buy something bad twice or three or four times. And that always holds true, especially with SSDs. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.